Hey everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I hauled while I was out in LA. I was just there at the end of March and I picked up a bunch of things like fashion, beauty, and some other bits and bobs that I wanted to share with you guys. And I also picked up a couple of things before I went away that I ended up using while I was on the trip and I wanted to share it with you because I really loved it. So the first thing is this top that I'm wearing. It's this black blouse and it kind of, you know, gives you that cold shoulder vibe. And I got this from Express. It's super flowy. It just looks so good over skinny jeans. And I don't know, I just love it. It's like casual or you can take it out to dinner. I'll link to everything down below so you can get a really good view because I know this isn't like the best. But I just love it. It's just definitely something that I've been wearing over and over again. So I'm definitely getting my money's worth. And then I love wearing it with these jeans that I also got from Express that I've been wearing like crazy. And these, like I love black jeans, but these are more of like a gray finish. And they are distressed up here, like above the knee. And then the cuff is a little bit destroyed. So you can kind of like fold it up and show that raw hem. So I think that looks super cool. So, the other thing that I picked up from Zara was this bag. And guys, I had to like stalk the website like crazy to get my hands on this. So I'm going to link to it if the link is still live. Because when I tried to get this in March, it was like I was going crazy. So um, here it is. So I just love the patches on it. It's super trendy. So I feel like... For something like this, I really don't want to spend a lot of money, so um, I just thought that it was like a good buy for this spring and summer, because uh, I could wear it anywhere, like on the weekends, super casual, to music festivals, any summer festival, period, I can get away with with this bag, and it's just super cute and eye-catching, and it has, you have to like pinch this lock open to open the bag, and then you have two compartments they're pretty large there's no zippered compartment but that's pretty much it you have two large pockets where you can fit a lot of stuff so I think it's just a perfect little weekend bag for the summer so if you can get your hands on this I highly highly recommend it it is so dope and I'm obsessed okay and I think it was only like 30 or 40 bucks so for a handbag that I'm gonna use a lot it is a really good price for me. So now I'm going to move on to the stuff I got while I was out in LA. And the first stop is Topshop. I love Topshop. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that. Um, it's like one of my go-tos. It's like Express, Topshop, Urban Outfitters, Free People. I think those are like the shops that I like. I pretty much go to all the time. And ASOS, of course, online. Um, but yeah, so I got this sweatshirt, which is so cool. It's, it has a raw hem as well. It's a little bit cropped, but not, it's not a crop top at all, but it's a little bit cropped. So it looks really great with high-waisted skinnies and I wore them with black high-waisted skinnies. I live in black jeans, <laughs> like seriously. So I just thought this was so perfect. I'm from Brooklyn, if you guys don't already know that. And um, a lot of um, the shopping bags that you can get out here, I think it was more like a back in the day thing. They have this print, um, not necessarily Brooklyn, but the styling is very reminiscent of shopping bags that you got at grocery stores back in the day. So I just loved it and I don't know, I feel like people from Brooklyn are so proud of being from Brooklyn and so I just like love that I have a piece where I can show off my Brooklyn pride. So that is so cute. And then I got this other sweatshirt that has this leopard print on it. Um, it's navy, it has leopard print and it also has a gray piece and then on the bottom it's navy again so I just love it. On the black, the black, on the back, it's all navy, but as you can see, the sleeves are navy and then they have the gray going down the side. So it's definitely a really, really cute piece. Oh God, I just think it's everything in life and especially the leopard print. Love it. Okay. And then 
guys I think this is kind of wrinkly because I wore it <laughs> while I was out there um, I definitely wore the Brooklyn sweatshirt and I took pictures of it and it's on my Instagram account so you can check it out my Instagram is vinyl blush and I'll link to it in the description box if you guys want to check it out because I did wear it so if you want to see how it looks on you can check it out there but at Victoria's Secret Pink I got this t-shirt gray tee and I love yellow. Oh, it's so good. It's like a buttery yellow. Um, and then it says, today was a good day. So I thought that it's such a cute t-shirt to wear to like a theme park or something. So that's why I picked this up. I just thought it was the cutest thing ever. Um, and then I picked up this tank top, which I thought would be really great for the summer. And I also wore while I was out there. And I have pictures wearing it as well. On my Instagram and here it is it says love pink and I usually don't go for things that are so heavily branded like pink I don't have things that say that but I just love this neon color it's like a neon coral I just love how it looks with my skin tone so that's why I like was like all right whatever I know it says pink on it but I'll get it anyway <laughs> and it has a cutout in the back so, super cute. I love it. So, you guys should check it out if you're pink lovers. Because uh, I know it's super popular. Oh, and I want to talk about my makeup real quick as well. Because I know I'll get questions. So, on my lips, I'm wearing the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in Honeycomb. I mentioned in my last video that I was loving this so much. Even though I was afraid that it was going to be too brown. But no, I am obsessed with it really good and then on my eyes I finally wore this so you guys can see how what it looks like it's gorgeous okay it is the Estee Edit the edgiest coal shadow stick in jaded so it's a really nice dark green perfect for a smoky eye like, seriously and it's sparkly and everything that you can need so seriously guys I don't I'm not like going crazy with makeup these days I don't do like crazy complex looks so seriously it's just like this all over the lid brown in the crease I use this like um, this brown eyeshadow from Mac it's called uninterrupted it's from their pro longwear eyeshadow line so if this still exists you can get it but yeah I use that in the crease I put on a strip of false lashes my Ardell double wispies you know foundation bronzer blush highlighter I know I'm like it's so simple but I, there are a million steps but yeah like for me this is like back to basics I'm not going crazy so that's what I'm wearing today and then speaking of that I did stop by Sephora while I was out there and I really really did not plan on it but you know my family wanted to go so I wasn't gonna stop them and I ended up seeing this brush and falling in love with it and I mentioned it in my last video where I talked about what I brought in my makeup bag to the trip and it is this fabulous fabulous like luxurious fan brush it's like a brush that you would never think that you would need if you're not like crazed like I am you would never think that you would need this brush until you like get it and touch it and feel it and use it. It is everything. And it is the Pro Featherweight Fan number 92. Look at how huge this thing is, okay? It's like half of my face. It's fabulous for, oh my god, bronzer. Just like really light. If you don't want to go like too ham, this really distributes product evenly and beautifully and it's a very nice light application and what I've really been loving using this for is highlighter just sweeping it like it's just everything so if there's one thing you need to get it's this an eyelash curler which is so random because I don't really curl my lashes because I have naturally curly hair hence curly lashes but sometimes you get like those pesky ones that don't want to get their lives together and curl with the rest of them so I, that's why I got this and it's by a brand called Surratt um, it's like recently been added to Sephora and it was it's like an award-winning eyelash curler 
Um, and it's really cool because it doesn't have a spring. So if you have ever used like a Marcel curling iron, that's what it's like. Like there's no spring. I don't pinch, ooh, almost poked my eye out. I don't pinch my skin when I've used this. Um, I don't know, I just think it's like so cool and it it just works. It's all matte, it's black, it's, uh, it's fabulous. So I did really enjoy this curler and I can see why it has won an award because it's just different and it doesn't pinch my eyes. So if you're looking for a lash curler, um, that's really nice quality definitely recommend this it's awesome and this was like unexpected but basically there was a pop-up shop for Schutz shoes or Schutz shoes I'm not sure how to pronounce it but they had a pop-up shop at the Grove in, uh, in LA and guys when I saw these shoes I had seen them like on Instagram and I was like, oh my god, I need these shoes. And then the next day, I saw that there was a pop-up shop. And I was like, this is destiny. Because that's how I feel about a lot of the things <laughs> that I buy that are splurges. I just feel like it was a sign that I needed it. And that's how I justify it. But anyways, yes, I did splurge a little bit on shoes. But they're gorgeous. And again, divine intervention. And I just love this like tote bag that they gave us, by the way so pretty they also had this promotion because they they're opening up um a store in beverly hills so they're kind of promoting that and i guess they have a pop-up shop to get people excited for it at the grove um and they did give a free pair of um of sandals while i was there which was so unexpected um but yeah i don't even know what to call this um but I'll just show you anyways. Here are the free sandals that I got. So definitely something that you could wear to the beach. Um, but yeah, it was like a nice touch that they, it's like a straw material. Super different. And there's, these shoes are made in Brazil, by the way. And they said that all their shoes are leather. So um, here's the box. And guys. I am so freaking excited. I can't wait to show you because I feel like a lot of you guys will like them because they're one of their classic styles that like once you see the shoe, you'll know what I'm talking about because everyone and their mother is making a shoe like this. But they changed up the heel for this season and I just thought this is everything. But let me just show you the dust bag because I can talk on and on about this because I'm just like that excited about them. But here they are, you guys. O-M-G. Tell me that these shoes aren't everything. I love cage, well, personally, I love cage style shoes. And I have this like one pair of black caged heels with a platform that I've had for like, I feel like I've had them for 10 years. Like I've had them for so long and I wear them with everything. And I just thought that these could give those other shoes a break because I feel like one of these days they're just gonna like pop because I've had them for that long. So anyways, see this style you've seen a lot and it usually comes with a really skinny heel, but now they're offering it with a stacked heel. And as um, a curvy girl, heels like this are definitely better on my body for my body type because uh, it's just more balanced because I have really uh, thick legs, thick calves, and they're just easier to wear and they're so comfortable and they come in other colors. So um, this isn't a stark white. Um, I got it, I believe the color is called Pearl. Oh, I'll show you the box if you guys wanna get them. Oh, it's too bright. But I'll leave the details down below but the color is called pearl and oh this is a good point so i'm usually like a size eight eight and a half but i ended up sizing up to a nine so usually in sandals like heels i get eight and a half so i went up a half size to a nine because um i don't know i guess my foot is a little wider so i needed um a bigger size um but the salesperson did say that they do stretch out because they're leather but I still didn't feel comfortable with getting my true size, so I did size up a half a size. But ugh, I just love them, and they came in like a darker nude, in blue, a bunch of colors. So definitely 
brown too. So definitely check them out if you're interested because, yeah, they're still popping. I love them. Um, okay, so next up, Disneyland. Oh my gosh. Oh, my ears don't fit. They don't fit in the frame. <laughs> Let me do this again. Okay. Disneyland. Yeah, I hate that they have these like tags that are so awkward and that you can't hide. <laughs> but yeah, I got these like crazy sparkly ears, of course, like I had to. But then they kind of pressed against this part like behind my ear and it just killed me. Oh my God, I totally forgot about this from Topshop. You guys, I can't keep it together. I got this necklace, and I just think it's so gorgeous. It's like, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's clear crystals that reflect different colors. So, um, like Aurora Borealis. So, like, green, blues, pinks, purple. And, yeah, it's, like, triple layered. And just so pretty, I thought, for this season. So yeah, I definitely didn't want to miss that. I just like went through this whole ordeal trying to get that together. But I got these two mugs. And I know this is like random, but I just wanted to share it with you guys. Because if you guys go, you like need to find this. How cute is this teacup? It looks like it's one inside of another one, but it's just one teacup. And I just think it is the cutest thing ever. So... If you guys bought this, definitely pick one up. I wish I had gotten two so I could have a little set, but I only got one. And then, how cute is this? Oh my god, I just fell in love with this mug from Beauty and the Beast. Isn't this like the cutest thing ever? Yeah, I was like obsessed when I saw this and my sister got one too, so now we have like matching ones. Um, they also had this other like mug in black and white that said Be Our Guest and it had the outlines of all of the characters in the movie. So I just love that. I love Beauty and the Beast. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. So I was like so hyped to get that. Next I wanted to show you guys two pairs of sunglasses that I got before the trip. And the first pair are by Key. Um, here Australia, super popular here on YouTube for like about a year now or maybe a little longer. Um, but yeah, so I got this pair. I, are these called the Muse? These don't have a name on it. Um, but I'll link to them if they're still available. This is from the Amanda Steele collection and you guys are going to see the mess <laughs> that is my room right now, my desk with all my makeup. Um, but yeah, I just love these. Aren't they like so cool? I thought it was like over the mirrored lenses, but when I saw these, I was like, I need them like yesterday. So I love these so much. Uh, very, very cute. But I was like a little bit concerned because you get a card with them that, um, uh, that has care instructions. And then one of the, <laughs> um, things, let me tell you, it was like the funniest thing Ever. It says, don't leave these in a hot car. Sunglasses in the heat for too long will melt. So can you imagine? Like you leave your sunglasses like in the cup holder in a car and then when you come back it's like a melted pool of like whatever this is made out of. That would be pretty horrific. <laughs> so I just thought that was funny when I read it. Um, but I did get another pair of Ray-Ban aviators. I have the ones with a, with the mirrored lens, but I wanted something, like I said, I thought I was over mirrored lenses, so I wanted uh, to go back to basics, and I just got something really simple, and I knew that I really liked the silhouette on me, so I ended up getting these, which are all black, and I just think they're just so fabulous, and they go with everything, all black everything. So yeah, I just love them, and I just feel like such a badass when I wear these. So definitely, highly recommend. And I'll put the style number or um, link out to them in the description box if you want to know. 
that was my haul guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like the video don't forget to hit that like button and I will link to everything that I mentioned that is still available down below as well as all of my social media and let me know if you guys have any spring break plans or if you were already on your spring break I know a lot of us are older we don't do spring break anymore but if you had a special trip planned and you went or you have one coming up definitely share where you're going because my list of where I want to go next is always 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 growing um, but yeah LA check I did go to Coachella a few years ago but I didn't see LA that much at all it was just like a stopping point on my way to Palm Springs but I will have another video coming up like a story time which I've never really done on this channel about my trip because I have a lot to rant and rave about okay because if you're from LA I stayed on Hollywood Boulevard so I feel like if you're from LA, then you already know, <laughs> okay? I didn't know, okay? I didn't know before I booked the spot that we stayed at. But let's just say I don't recommend it. So definitely stay tuned for that video because I plan on recording that this week. So um, that's coming up. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching again. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.